Why did I get into photography? Uh, my high school offered a photography class. I was 14, 15 years old, whatever. And my dad had an old mechanical Pentax and started shooting black and white film, developing it myself, doing the whole romantic darkroom thing and just kind of got hooked and was an enthusiast my whole life. And then a few years ago, I decided to, you know, take it full throttle. I knew I needed to move up here and uh, moved up here and opened a studio, uh, trying to do the, you know, rent out studio space to other photographers, do headshots, do stuff that requires studio space, and then do my own, you know, location photography on top of that. Well, it comes in, well, it's, all, it's always different. I mean, it depends what kind of shoot you're doing. If you're doing a headshot shoot or a portfolio shoot or a lookbook or comp cards, something commercial, whatever, obviously it's always different. It'll start out with kind of a consultation period. We'll sit on the couch and discuss what, you know, he or she wants to accomplish with the headshots. It's generally, you know, one person looking at it and trying to gauge from that one picture if they can utilize them in a way more dynamic role. So you gotta kind of discuss their expectations and discuss what they want to accomplish with it, the looks they're trying to get. Generally after that, she'll go into makeup or he'll go into makeup if he needs it. Uh, and then, you know, you start shooting the shots. You're concentrating more on your technical ability combined with more interpersonal relationship skills. I generally tap into my bartending skills, you know, when you're, when you're making drinks and you're trying to keep people happy in the bar and communicate, talk, whatever they're interested. Just try to make them comfortable. Is the, the main thing is to, to really make them feel at ease in front of the camera, which, and this is possibly the longest I've ever had a lens pointed at me and it's driving me nuts to be, I mean, I'm, I'm never on this end of the camera and I don't really like it all that much, but so it's hard. I mean, even somebody that's a model, is it's difficult to get them to, to look into a lens and, and relax and be at ease. And, and that's the most difficult part. You know, it's just bringing them out. I'm kind of sarcastic and I try to keep the sarcasm, not so much biting sarcasm, as just trying to keep them loose and keep them comfortable. And what they respond well to, you kind of run with. And, what they clearly don't respond well to, you kind of clamp down on it. So, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I try to have a really comfortable environment. For them, I have couches, lounge area, you know, I can make them a mimosa or something, play whatever music they're into. If they want Justin Bieber, then I put Justin Bieber on Pandora and I just suck it up and deal with it and hope it ends quickly and I get shots quickly. My makeup girl's really friendly and, and awesome, so they sit and loosen up with her a little bit. Um, you know, just keep it light and keep it fun. Like they, you know, it's not a chore to come get your, to get my headshots done again. You know, it's like, oh, I get to go back. You know, I want to, I want to come back. I want them to feel like they should come back, you know. Wait, what? 